friends this is mana from civil center and uh, today we will work on a new project on the tecla structural designer software so first of all uh, we will just open a new file and uh, after uh, you open a new file it's important to create the levels for that you can go to model and then construction levels and then uh, we will insert the foundation level let's give this uh, minus uh, 1.1 meters and this will be our plinth level and let's insert level above this and this will be uh, let's give this SSL or structural slab level with a uh, like slab thickness of 100 mm and the spacing let this spacing be of 3 meters so this is basically our G now uh, this G plus 1 and uh, let's go G plus 2 and then click on OK so after that this we are at our plinth level here we'll go to model and go to construction levels and check the levels here and after that we're going to this option and we're going to use the rectangular wizard just press next till we uh, reach the x directions so the length uh, here we'll take as uh, 3 meters and the number we are taking as 4 here and uh, next in the y direction also we'll take 3 meters and the number we're taking as 2 or uh, in the x case also you can just do this as uh, 2 or 3 so this will be our structure here and then click on next next finish so after you finish this we'll just uh, create a structure we are going to try and create a composite structure out of this so first of all uh, you can check the code of the country according which to which you are designing the building so uh, here you can go to home and you can go to settings and you can check the code here so if you want uh, the code of like a US code you can just import it from here and select the country like US UK and again after you do that uh, make sure that you uh, go to the model settings and then select the code of the country in which you are going to design the building the remaining process will remain the same so uh, after we have uh, gone through that uh, we'll just use uh, some columns so we're going to use the steel columns here so I've selected these steel columns and uh, these uh, steel columns uh, will go, go from the bottom level to the top level and the section grade you can just change here uh, 490 FE 490 grade uh, is the most commonly used uh, available market in uh, this place so I'm going to use this section also you can choose or from here can just edit the section here so uh, we're going to go with the rectangular hollow sections and rectangular hollow sections of let's say I uh, will go with 150 and uh, select and then we'll provide uh, these sections everywhere so after you provide this section and you can just go to this uh, base here and also go to the construction levels if you want to make any changes here you can also do it so this is uh, the construction level this is the plinth level this is the first uh, this is the ground floor slab and uh, we have created uh, this this many levels here so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to just select these three columns and uh, we are going to make the top level here just reduce it to this uh, 3 meters so this will go be our first level uh, this is basically the plinth level here and uh, this is basically the plinth level and this is the uh, this is the uh, level in uh, which or the ground floor uh, slab level it is so up to this we are keeping this so we'll just go back uh, to our structure this uh, one so that we can provide the beams here uh, for that you can go to the structure window levels and then go to structure 1 this is the basically the plinth level and uh, select the beams uh, here we will go with uh, concrete beams and concrete beams of uh, let's say size of uh, 250 into uh, uh, let's say 350 and then click on ok and we'll go with FE500 uh, FE500 and then just select the entire structure look in the structure 3d this is uh, what we are getting here and after that in the next levels also 
we can uh, just uh, simply assign the beams here and uh, structure one we have assigned the beams so in the structure two what we can do construction levels you can just make this source as uh, one and then click on ok these uh, beams are copied go to construction levels and make this as unique so after this is copied the uh, the upper structure uh, we can do here so for that we'll just go to this uh, let's go to this structure 2 beams already given structure 3 now we are going to select uh, the beams here same size we are going to select just the grade we are going to change that will be 500 you can uh, save this also if you want but now we will just assign beams in this portion slabs and assign the slabs here and check the structure here like this and you can do go to construction levels make this as your 3 and then click on ok so as you can see the structure has been assigned like this so uh, if you want to have uh, you know truss above in the upper uh, part of the structure you can just delete this make sure you're deleting uh, the concrete beams and the panels and the slabs okay uh, before deleting just go to construction levels and make this as unique we will not uh, skip that part so after that now you can delete okay so delete it and now you can insert uh, the truss here so for the truss you can go to the model and then truss and then uh, simply select this portion and uh, this portion and then you can just go to next next and height let's give us 1.5 meters and uh, i want a prat truss and divisions i want let's give three divisions only uh, six meters length three divisions should be enough click on finish you can see the truss here select the truss here and then uh, you have this option of uh, go to edit and select the option of copy select this points and after that to validate the model it's very important to validate if you have any error can just solve the member intersection here as you can see here so three member intersection what you can do you can select these three and just make this top level as structure three now you can validate the model once again and go to model here select the beams you're going to select some steel beams here Uh, let's go with some uh, uh, you know the circular hollow sections of let's say uh, 32L or 32M it's too much small okay we'll just skip and uh, select another section here circular hollow sections of let's say 250 it is too much large so a little bit less size one fifty should do So like this you can provide the beams carefully and if you want here for the trusses also 
just change the section here circular hollow sections 150 H we will do give the same section actually here also for this two also we're going to select the same one so this uh, we have inserted the uh, sections here and you can apply some roof panels model uh, since this is G plus 2 so no window will act you can go to model and uh, select the roof panels here just apply the roof panels double click single click single click single click and the last one double click roof panels have been applied uh, now uh, you can go proceed with the modeling part so uh, let's go to structure 2 uh, if you haven't provided slabs you can just provide the slabs here and now the structure is completed so let's assign the loads first of all we'll go to this uh, structure 1 the plinth level and some assign some dead loads and go to loading full UDL 5 uh, we're going to provide all along this is for the wall load and uh, let's provide the same load in next level as well dead load full UDL of 5 for the wall loads acting on the beams we are just providing that you can calculate this value depending on the thickness of the wall material used type of masonry or brick used in the wall and the length or the floor to floor height which is 3 feet in this case imposed loads uh, we're going to use it for uh, the residential purposes or let's say we're going to use it for the commercial purposes so as per is uh, 875 part 2 it will be your we're going to take a level load of 4 kN per meter square so you can check out uh, the uh, live load used or the imposed load used in your country as per the different requirements it is basically the same just have to know the purpose of usage of the building so this is done uh, going to, on to the next floor uh, here also we'll just apply the uh, load for the masonry just applying the load of the masonry here and after that the live load imposed loads or we can take this as level load of 4 kN per meter square and after that we can just go and apply some more loads on the roof here we're going to go to this load cases and we're going to add a load case here and we're going to just name this as roof imposed and type also we're going to just load take as roof imposed and then ok then here we're going to take the roof imposed and the we're going to take the slab load and here we're going to take this as projected and 2 kN per meter square or if you, the slab load is not working you can also select the area load of 2 kN per meter square and apply the area loads here and after that uh, what we can do is you can go and if you want to add some dead loads you can also add the dead loads here or else what we can do uh, you can just make the roof imposed loads 
just select the roof imposed loads and if you want to make this as a long element you can do that and when you assign the dead load and dead load of let's say we'll go with the area load and this will be projected and it will be let's give a dead load of 1 kN per meter square so after you apply this load and just click on escape and if you want you can design for the earthquake as well go to loading seismic loads seismic wizards and uh, we're going to go with the core spectra ignore plinth uh, below the plinth level plinth level is base here and the zone 2 we're going to go for zone 2 important spectra is one for non normal uh, buildings next we're going to use modern response spectrum analysis next type of structure rc moment resisting frame without any masonry infills moment frame systems and we're going to take the consideration of the dead and the live loads and finish combinations due to this uh, seismic loads we are taking or the limit state once uh, validating the model generating some load combinations generate this next limit state combination selected next next uh, these combinations are going to be different for different codes but the process will be the same and uh, after you do all this you can just uh, click on this uh, design and then uh, simply uh, you know just click on design all uh, static so the structure has been uh, designed as you can see here it has been fully designed you can just uh, turn off the loads and uh, see that uh, they are there are some warnings in the plinth level as there always are but as you can see overall the structure has been uh, designed in the tecla structural designer software so that's all for uh, today's video how did you find this video let us know in the comment section and if you want any more videos i can just uh, leave a comment here and also subscribe to our channel because we bring to you regularly videos on various topics related to civil engineering so that's all for today. Bye-bye. See you. Keep learning.